gentlemen, coming up next in the Tag Team League Challenge, the team of Mike Fire and D'Lo Brown meets the porn stars Lexi Lore and Elsa Jean. Honestly, I'm getting really sick and tired of this lagging, and I really I apologize to the viewers watching this. At home, but I mean, what do you what do you do? You know, what do you do when you're faced with this, with this kind of situation? And by the way, an impressive uh, battle royale for you guys just witnessed earlier. Here ago, Jesse Rios is the winner. He is going to be the third participant in the hardcore championship match. And, uh, Rick, any thoughts? Well, for starters, I was very, very disappointed on how lagging, how laggy the compute the, the, the match was. The computer is. It's absolutely unfair, is what I got to say about that. I mean. It's such a fantastic game, and it's worked many times on so many levels. But for some reason, it decides to continually lag like this. I was absolutely disgusted on how, how painful it was to deal with this situation. Nevertheless, they left on 10, did a fantastic job earlier tonight. Or earlier today, and unfortunately, he met at the, he his friend was met with Victoria, Victoria Barone, one of the uh, Godfather's homes. Now Victoria ended up staying for the very very end, the bitter end pra practically, until she was eliminated by none other than broken heart. I, by the way, be at Revolution this Sunday against King and Adam King. I'm looking forward to that pay-per-view event. So am I, Banger, so am I. But right now, let's concentrate on the action right here and right now. La computer lag or no computer lag, we got to get down to brass tacks here. This is the Tag Team League Challenge, and like every other challenge that we have seen before, Here's how it works. The teams or the individual, in, in case it's a singles uh, league challenge, um, the individual or the teams that score the most points in the seven matches that they're in will get to compete for their respective championship title. I'm talking about right now, in this case, here, the uh, tag team league challenge. So the team that scores the most points, and I can't say the, the top score, because uh, I, I would say if you win every match, you earn yourself 21 points, but there is no guarantee that anybody, and I mean anybody, will secure seven straight victories with no loss. I can guarantee you right now, it's, it, will be, it will be absolutely sublime if somebody or if a team can pull off that kind of uh, a, a feature, you know what I mean, Ringer? Absolutely, Rick. And you know, in this case scenario, the team that does score the highest will earn a shot for the tag team titles, which now we know it's the Brawl Brothers, Ryan Rich and Bram Keeley. Last assignment. Oh boy, we, we, we saw something that I don't think I've, I've ever seen before in the history of the No Mercy video game. I don't think we've ever seen anything quite spectacular as the Team Japan Brawl Brothers uh, tag team match. For the belts! Tournament finals for the belts! So that being said, I mean... I think that the teams that are going to be competing in this league challenge better take note. The Pro 
all brothers are here to stay. They're going to represent the academy, but they're also going to represent every tag team. You've got to be honest with yourself. Let, let's admit something. Every team on FPW, No Mercy, or LCW were watching the match. It was absolutely incredible. But also, what was incredible was how resilient both teams were. I mean, both teams worked so well together. And in the league challenge, every team has to work well together. Absolutely. Mike Bonner and D'Lo Brown are the only duo because they don't have anything in common. D'Lo Brown has been wrestling for so many years. Wrestling for, you know, months. But even then, he doesn't have a whole lot of experience. So we have a teacher-student combination, but that's pretty much all we've got in this kind of contest. And they're fighting against the porn stars. Elsa Jean, who's in the ring right now, and Lexi Lure, who's on the outside right now. So we're having this, uh, you know, male versus female kind of match, which is quite refreshing, to be honest with you, because I'm getting sick and tired of this intergender thing where men can fight women and women can't, women can't fight men. That's absurd. I think that women and men can wrestle against each other any day of the week. Because wrestling is a sport. Nonetheless, this is a sport. If, if women can play hockey, or if men can play hockey, so can women. You know, uh, if, if, if men can box, so can women. Whatever a man can do, a woman can do too. Very well spoken by that rapper, Rick Rocker. And apparently, you call yourself the action man? That's funny. You're the action man, alright. Ladies and gentlemen, in just a few short minutes, we will be having our main event of the evening for the Hardcore Championship. Pentagon, a two-time Hardcore Champion, meets Brian Rage, the man that originally beat Pentagon about a month ago, and now the third opponent being S.A. Rios. Now that was an amazing match, regardless of the lagging, we all we all get it, we all understand it was a pain in the ass, but it was a damn good match nonetheless. And Vandagon's got his homework cut out for him. He, he wrestles for the championship, you know? I mean we don't we, we didn't see him in the um uh, we didn't see him in the uh, uh gauntlet match with the battle royale. Uh, I'm not quite sure he's even in the, uh, the, the, the the league challenge, but Phantom is by far the most entertaining um, uh, wrestlers that we have in the academy. He also scores a fairly decent number compared to Keegan Yamada, our world heavyweight champion. Absolutely. Fantagon, um, being a two-time champion, the very first two-time champion here at the Academy, the hardcore title has been one of the most exciting matches to watch, the most exciting title event. Of course, it, it plays like the 24-7 championship, but, but not really, because it's not defended any time, any place. 
it's only defended at every single show we have. Also, it's an open championship. Anybody can have it. Anybody from any league. You could be a heavyweight. You could be a light heavyweight. You could be a woman. I mean, it doesn't make a damn difference who you are or what you are. The bottom line is, you can go for the, you can compete for the title. But the only caveat is, you have to earn the right. So right now, Ryan Rage was our previous champion, and the reason why he's in this contest is because he felt that he got screwed over. And I completely understand why Ryan would feel that way. And that's why tonight, we're having ourselves a hardcore title match, triple threat. It's going to be absolutely gorgeous. What are the chances you think that S.A. Rios will become the next hardcore champion, Winger? Well, it's a 33% possibility, Rick. You gotta be honest with yourself here. There's not a guarantee that S.A. Rios will be a champion, but for all we know, he has to pin Ryan Rage. And hell, if he beats Ryan Rage, guess what? He's the champion. Phantasmon never lost the damn thing. Exactly what happened the first time around. Phantagon never lost. Mm-hmm. Phantagon got screwed over because Ryan Rage forced Bram Hill to submission. Phantagon had a 2 by 4 wrapped in barbed wire. And you know what? I'm surprised that he had, that he had hit nothing but air. Bram Healy just gave up. Just like that, too. It had to be a coincidence. Why? Because they're a tag team. I mean, they work together. They're a great cohesive unit. They're trying to screw over Fantagon. It's... It is what it is, Rick. It is. It is exactly what it is. People like Ryan Ray and Sam Healy don't want guys like Fantagon to win the championship. They want to screw over the guy who has the most victories, who has the championship. It's, 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 it's a very cruel concept, but damn, is it ever effective. Well, I actually agree on, I actually agree with you on that. And on the outside, for D'Lo Brown, and I believe it's Lex Lore. They're just battling on the outside. Look at this. My, Mike Fire is in the danger because Elsa Jean just performed a, a, a very amazing sit-up power bomb. And now what's going to happen? Elsa sends Mike Fire to the corner. And I think Elsa is going to tag in Lexi Lore. There's the tag. All right, here we go. What is going to happen? What is next? Well, all four superstars are in the ring right now, and this is going to get very chaotic. Hopefully it doesn't lag too much. Well, I, I think it's gotten a lot better now than it was uh, earlier today. I mean, that was awful. Absolutely god-awful. I mean, but we're doing this show together, Rick. I, I mean, I, I have... I have I have shivers. I, I'm excited about what's going to happen today. And when I go and sit down next to you and I find out that it's all lagging, I mean, it sucks. Well, how do you think I do when you're not around? First off, you're not even present. And second of all, i got to deal with this lagging game. This lagging, you know, digital copy or an emulator of a cartridge. It's, it's wrong on so many levels, Winger. So next time we have this show, I'm not going to start shit until you sit down first. Next to me, to call this match, to call this show, as we're hired to do. Vicious Jeremy's the one that, signs, that, that approves our paycheck, that signs the paycheck. If, if, if you're not even here, why the hell should he approve your time sheet? Taken, point taken. I'll be, I'll be here first thing for, um, for assignment number ten. By the way, we'll be in two weeks on the week of the fifteenth of March. 
and the 19th of March. So the 15th is a Monday, and the 19th is a Friday. We'll be back for assignment 10, for the continuation of the uh, championship tournament. Should be awesome. Danny Chambers and Hacky Woman, it's all going down. And maybe by then, ladies and gentlemen, we may have a new hardcore champion. It could be Ryan Rage winning it for the second time around, or we could see a brand spanking new champion in S.A. Rios. A stooped possibility, uh, Rick, but I think Fantagon's got this one. You believe in that, don't you, Winger? Absolutely, man. Pentagon's got he's 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 smart, you know. I mean he's he's dealt in these kinds of matches and the fact that it's a it's a triple threat match, it's anybody's game. You could steal someone's victory, it makes no difference. And look at this. Hey that was a running power bomb, right? Didn't um I could have sworn I saw uh Ultimo Dragon do that in WCW. But I don't think I've ever seen D'Lo Brown do that kind of movement. It's funny because he's done it in uh, WrestleMania 2000, the video game, and he's doing it here now. But I think they actually port the character, so every move they do is uh, pretty much ported into the next game. Or perhaps Dilo Brown has done the running power the running power bomb before. I'm not quite sure. Well, Dilo Brown's got a special lock and load of looks as though uh, I I think that's I think that's Elsa. I think it's Elsa. The one in the pink uh, the pink booty shorts. And the black knee uh, the, the black knee pads. Oh my, make a wish, my fire. Bam! Nine minutes into this contest. Anything can happen in this, in this sport. You know, if Victoria had won the match, I'll be very honest with you, if she had won the Battle Royale, I would have stood up on my feet and say, young lady, you deserve, you deserve a crack at the hardcore championship. I mean, it will be interesting to see for the first time in four or five years, a triple threat match featuring a female superstar. That would have been great. The last time we saw something like this was at Blood, Sweat, and Tears 2016, where Christina Calloway won the Universal Championship, she being the first and only female superstar to ever win the Universal Championship. All she had to do was defeat one of the two, Brandon Wolf or Ken and Jackson Jr. In this case, Christina picked Ken and Jackson Jr. Performed the submission hold, Locked in there, forced Ken and Jackson Jr. to submit. Brennan Wolf was the champion at the time. And you know what the funny thing is? He never lost the Universal Championship to this very G. Calm down there, winger. We understand Brennan Wolf is possibly the only superstar for fantasy pro wrestling to have won the Universal Championship and lost the title on two different occasions without getting pinned and without forcing himself to submit tapping out or pleading to the referee I forfeit I give up uncle whatever you want to call it but you gotta be honest with yourself here in, in this business it doesn't matter how you become champion you will lose the match I know that Rick but think about this the man never got pinned the man never tapped out. I mean, yes, Brandon has had opportunities to compete with the championship title, of course, but he never won the belt since, well, 
in this case here, 2017. So about four years, it was about four years ago. Next, uh, next week, fans, the Wolf Pack meet the team of Horvat, the Hungarian Barbarian, and Dan Kiyu of the Dojo. If, if Horvat wins that match for his team, the 5th edition will go up against the, tag, the, the, the Tornado Tag Team Champions, the Specialists. But if Dan Kiyu wins for the team, it's going to be Dan Kiyu... And apparently Mike Bailey will be represented because, because, because Master Ken is going for the Universal Championship. And of course Master Ken decided that Mike Bailey represents. So that's going to be a lot of fun if, if that happens. But if the Wolf Pack win, they're the ones that are going to be next on deck for those Tornado Tag Team titles, and I, for one, am looking forward to it. Well, I also look forward to seeing that action, ladies and gentlemen, but also, I get to interview both teams, or all six of those wrestlers, or should I say, yeah, pretty much all six, because Horvath and the Bard are attacked, and have uh, uh, Dan Q and Mike Bailey and the other, but also, Mike Bailey will be wrestling Twice, if that happens, because Mike Bailey will be defending the FPW Cruiserweight Championship title against... Are you ready for this? I'm ready, buddy. Ladies and gentlemen, Jim Rebel will be in action on Monday, May, March 22nd. Carnage is now officially on March 22nd, as opposed to the original date March 21st, but Jim Rebel will be back then. He is looking primed and ready once to get back a title that he too never lost, and that is the World Cruiserweight Championship. Oh my, Mike Bailey's got a lot on his hands. He's got a, he's got his homework cut out for him, and he's got well, he's got apparently three weeks. Three weeks to prepare for himself. Almost two weeks, but still. Still. Two weeks from Monday coming up, fans. Two weeks from Monday. It is going to be Carnage, our 22nd annual pay-per-view extravaganza, fans. We hope to see you. We hope to, to hear from you on the comment section on YouTube. But please, please, please subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to click on the ringy dingy dingy notification. Well, so far, ladies and gentlemen, 13 minutes into this matchup here, and it's pretty much been a seesaw back and forth contest. Uh, of course, this match is scheduled for 30 minutes, so if the match ends up being a draw game, well, unfortunately, nobody gets to earn any points at all. And that's because this is, this, this is the only tag team left that needs to score points. That's true, eh? Every other team has competed except for these two. These, these, are, these guys are the last team to wrestle for points. 
And it would be pretty exciting to see if one of those, if one of these teams that we're watching right now end up earning the most points to get a crack at, the, at those tag team titles. Absolutely. And what makes the championship so important is that the titles, each championship, will not be defended until a league challenge is, has been completed. Which is great because it gives the opportunity for all the wrestlers to have a match against like, against somebody. And whoever... Oh, beautiful Falcon Arrow! And only gets a one count. 14 minutes left on the clock, fans. And, uh, yeah, so as I was saying... Um... You know, whoever competes for the titles, they would have earned it more because they spent all this time building, building, building. But then again, you could be on your off day. You could win so many matches and yet all of a sudden you're now ready for the big match and you could choke. It could happen. We've seen it happen before. And it happens everywhere. It could happen in all different kinds of sports. Hockey, baseball, football, the NBA, you name it. Anything can happen. Come on, you fucking thing. Sadly, there's nothing that we can do about this, friends. Nothing that we can do about it at all. We are essentially stuck with the fact that we have to deal with this crazy lagging. But it's not as bad as it was in the previous matches. That is a that's that's the honest truth right there. Oh, beautiful hook kick. And now 15 minutes, ladies and gentlemen. 15 minutes are left in this matchup. Both teams have to execute their finishing maneuvers. Or in this case here, the best way to win in a tag team match scenario is to force your opponent to submit. This is where submission holds come into play. And even if you don't possess a, a submission hold, well, I'm sure there, I'm sure there, there has got to be at least one submission hold in their repertoire. At least one in their... Oh, look at that beautiful moonsault right there by Elsa Jean. Elsa Jean now in control of Mike Fire. Oh. Looks like Elsa's going to tag herself out there. I, I saw that way before she did the tag. That's how bloody slow this damn game is. I don't know what to do. I wish I could, I wish I could like, figure it out on my own, you know? Figure out what causes this slow, slow, lag, painful, painfully slow lag. Oh, this counter. World to world uh, side slam hooks the leg of Lexi Lore, but she is not the legal form, or is she? She is. Well, that was that was Elsa being slammed. Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. I, I couldn't tell them apart. There you go. You see, that's a submission hold right there. That's the mission in your in your move set that counts as a submission hold and anything like I said anything can happen and you could become champion or you can win with any move oh beautiful dramatic maneuver there by Alexi Lord Dilo Brown who's flashing right now because he's got a Oh, look at that. Fuck the kick. Can this be it? Ah, oh, Lexi crawls to the ring ropes. Oh. 
All right, now here we go. Off the ropes. Come on. Oh, look at that little tornado backbreaker. Oh my, sidewipe power bomb, no! It was countered to a Hurricane Rana! And only gets a one count. That was beautiful, by the way. That was absolutely beautiful. Oh my, sleeper hold, followed by a dragon sleeper. Mike Fire's in deep trouble right now and D-Lo Brown trying to save his partner and he does. This matchup continues on. I thought for a second that Mike Fire was going to call it quits, saying I've had enough, I can't deal with this anymore. Mike Fire's got spiked by a power driver there by Alexa Lohr. Standing switch. Atomic drop. Bam! Mike Fire is in deep trouble. Needs to get a tag to D'Lo Brown. And another pull down pile driver right there, spiking him on, on the skull. Going with a cup right now, ladies and gentlemen, but look up. D'Lo Brown slides right in there. The day. That could have been the end of the match right there, fans. Oh my! Oh my! Good job from Elsa Jean saving her tag team partner. My goodness. Reverse DDT, nicely done. And now I think Lexi is going to try and score the pin, the, the pinfall here. Will she be able to do it? Ah, oh, D'Lo Brown was too late. She was, he was, sorry, he was too late. The porn stars earned themselves a victory tonight. That's three points for Lexi individually as a tag team. Three points for the league challenge. We're not going to get any kind of replay. It's going to be a pinfall. But Lexi, good job, girl. You did, a very, you did a fantastic job. Good for you. 18 and a half minutes it took to complete, to negotiate this kind of matchup here, Rick. Spectacular performance from both teams, but it was the porn stars who are on top of the game. And I don't mean that in a sexual way, I'm just saying they honestly earn the right to advance on in the league challenge. They have scored three points, and we'll continue this match right after this. Don't go anywhere.